topic like the ras leela and the govardhan leela are meant for the liberated souls and not for the conditioned souls the conditioned souls therefore must hear with appreciation and devotion the lord's past times in relationship with the external energy and hearing such past times is as good as hearing the ras leela in the liberated stage and uh, and of course he says this in connection with the purush avatars and he says uh, you know some serious devotees thinks that to hear about the past times of the lord means to hear about his activities with the gopis or about his past times like lifting the govardhan neela and they have nothing to do with the lord's plenary expansions and says the purush avatars and their past times of the creation maintenance and annihilation of the material worlds but a pure devotee knows that there is no difference between the lord's ras leela past times and his past times of creation maintenance and destruction and in fact from the very verse that i quoted initially the proper proper makes it even more specific and that's really interesting and he says shukdev was swami want to present the truths of creation not as a metaphysical theory of philosophical speculation but as the actual facts and figures of the subject says he would be dictated to buy the lord exactly in the same manner as brahma ji was inspired very powerfully saying not as a metaphysical theory of philosophical speculation but as the actual facts and figures of the subject and now look um, it's really interesting you know because here uh, what is happening is that uh, if you see the uh, the flow from the second chapter uh, we have uh, shukde go swami uh, defining the process or glorifying the process of bhakti till about the verse 22 and then from verse 22 till i think about verse 29 which uh, actually uh, you know ends with uh, glorifying lord vasudev as the source of everything uh, you know especially the verses that end with uh, vasudev para ved vasudev paramak so what he is doing is glorifying bhakti and then glorifying bhagwan so it's first glorification of bhakti that's his energy and then the glorification of the bhagavat tatva now before this uh, sudgo swami has already you know defined how this brahma tatva can be understood in tatva tatva vidas so it is brahmeti parmatmeti bhagwan iti shabd So now after establishing Vasudev as the supreme lord he is explaining how Vasudev is also the cause of the Paramatma tattva so in the next verses that is 30 30 31 32 33 33 he is glorifying the Paramatma tattva in general right and then he starts with the list or the uh, inspiration of leela avatars then again he comes back to the Paramatma tattva so it's not actually that things are being repeated there is repetition to actually uh, reinforce the fact that how vasudev is the origin of everything even of the parmatma tattva but here the classification is more specific okay so the first uh, classification is general that how the lord permeates as parmatma but here it is very specific how he permeates as parmatma in three different forms that is karuna dakshay vishnu as the parmatma of the whole universal creation garbha dakshay vishnu as the parmatma of uh, the collected uh, jeevas in a specific universe and shri dakshay vishnu as the parmatma of each living entity and also occupying matter and all space between matter 